to Interviews with Ivan. My name is Ivan Delisted. I'm the CEO of Hamilton Demo, and we're coming to you from downtown Cincinnati, the Ron Hamilton photo. And we're going to bring to you some interviews and conversations from people within diversity and inclusion and other business leaders and nonprofit leaders. And we're hoping that you'll welcome the conversations, welcome the interviews, and please follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and subscribe to us as well. Any and all feedback is appreciated. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Ivan Demostan with Hamilton Demo, and I'm with Gail Hillicky with Kentucky Campus Compact. How are you, Gail? I'm doing great. Thank you, Ivan. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for joining us. It's great to see you. It's great to be here. Yeah, we're, we're always on uh, Zoom and seeing each other virtually, so this is the first time we've gotten to see each other in person in a while. So. It's great. Zoom starts to make you feel like people are cartoon characters or something. A little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. They're uh, touch and go. <laughs> so uh, let's start by uh, learning a little bit more about you. Please share a little bit about you and also Kentucky Campus Compact. Great. Thank you. I have been in this area for 14 years now. I moved from Washington, D.C. and um, was the founding director for Kentucky Campus Compact. And the Compact is part of a national movement. So there's a national office in Boston, and then there's about 40 uh, state and regional compacts around the country. And our goal is to help students become active citizens. We also want to uh, make sure that we uh, promote and support an active democracy, and we like to promote student success. So helping students all the way from high school through college have a great academic career. Great. Yes. Yeah. So when I share with people about your organization, uh, I tell them about AmeriCorps. Please share a little bit about AmeriCorps for those that don't know. Absolutely. So we have a couple of AmeriCorps programs in our uh, portfolio that um, apply to our priorities of college access, student success, and community impact. And so AmeriCorps is like a domestic Peace Corps. So people can serve, they can become a national service member for a year to help in some kind of way in their community. So in our particular programs, it's about helping uh, students with education as well as helping citizens with um, health issues, access to health care, uh, the environment, um, economic opportunities and that kind of thing. So AmeriCorps members uh, choose to serve for a year they um, get a small living stipend, so it is a little sacrifice for them to do right. this. And then they get an education award at the end. So if they've served full time, they get an education award that's equal to the Pell Grant for the previous year. So I think it's now up to about $6,800 oh, wow. that yeah. they would get. Oh, great. So you, may, you mentioned a little sacrifice. Um, what other benefits do they get? I'm sure they get other benefits. They do get great benefits. So they all get health care, which is fantastic these days to, to have yeah. uh, free health care. And then they also get a lot of training and mentoring. So they get training on professional development plus topic areas. So our AmeriCorps members who are working in the uh, high schools, they get a lot of training around college access. So how to look for scholarships, how to fill out the FAFSA, how to study for ACTs. And so many of the people that have served as coaches go on to work at colleges and universities in the admissions department wow. or wow. Um, in some of the counseling areas. So it's a great um, professional development for them. Great. No, that sounds wonderful. And I, I also know that they get some other benefits with, the, with federal jobs and federal employment. They do. So the uh, people that serve full-time in VISTA, uh, when they are out of VISTA and they apply for a federal, federal job, they get preferential um, consideration. Oh, so they don't have to, they don't get eliminated off the bat. They actually get an interview for those jobs. And that's phenomenal. That could be huge for someone, especially someone straight out of uh, college or someone who's thinking about getting into a federal role. It is. Yeah. It's fantastic. And there's a lot, of, I used to be a federal employee and there's a lot of great jobs in the federal government. Yeah, there are a lot of great jobs. Yeah. So, so um, talk about some of the organizations and, and sites that you have these AmeriCorps members assist with or 
who they partner with. Tell us a little bit about what do they look like? What, what are they actually doing? What's the experience like for uh, your members? So I'll talk about our two programs. So with the College Coaches Program, our AmeriCorps members are placed all around the state, but they're always with high schools or area technology centers. And so um, some of them are in urban areas, so in you know downtown Louisville, and some of them are in very uh, rural areas. So we have um, uh, schools in very eastern Kentucky, very western Kentucky, and very small towns. So the picture is different across the board. So each AmeriCorps member has their own experience in the type of school that they're in. But every college coach has a cohort of high school students that they work with. So freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, and they meet with them one-on-one -on -one and in small groups, help them decide what they're interested in studying, um, what uh, classes to take in high school, and then where to look for their next uh, plan. So they could be going to college, they could be going to military, they could be doing some kind of apprenticeship. And so our college coaches really help them find the way that will help them um, meet their own goals, their own life goals. Great, great. And then for VISTA, we place VISTA members in colleges and universities, but also in nonprofit and government agencies. So for instance, in this area, we have AmeriCorps members in the Brighton Center, which um, one of them is helping them write grants and build their capacity for serving their clients. We have another VISTA member in this area with the um, Safety Net Alliance, which is a collaboration of nonprofits to help make sure that clients really get a continuum of service. And so that member really is helping uh, market and helping people to know about the services. So, and then we have nonprofits all around the state, small nonprofits, large nonprofits, and um, one of them, EKSEP, is uh, really looking at the economic opportunities for retraining people that used to be in the coal industry yeah. and giving them other skills that they can get jobs oh, great. after after the coal mines have been shutting down. Yeah, yeah. So I've got to think the, the types of organizations that you're talking about within this pandemic, the need is even greater than, than ever, right? So what are some things that you're doing to reach out to these organizations? And, and when you find them or when they come to you, what are, what are they asking you? What are, what are some of the things? How is it impacting everybody? So you're absolutely right that there are a lot of people who, organizations that need help. And so we just connected with um, one organization who's going to take three VISTA members because they need wow. um, resources uh, to help them serve their clients. And so um, I think that uh, for most organizations, there is a fee to, um, to host a member, um, but uh, it's only $8,000 for the year, and that's a full-time person for 12 months. And With that, benefits and mentoring right. and development. And can they stay, can those members stay longer than the year? They can. They can stay, uh, they can serve up to four terms, four um, times in, in AmeriCorps. Um, and many of them do, especially ones who've kind of found their niche, like they've really uh, found what they wanted to do, and so they want to keep keep doing it. We have a person at Feeding Kentucky, which is one of the organizations in the state that um, organizes uh, food banks and, and the food distribution to various food banks around the state. And so we have a member there that's been there, uh, I think this is her third year, because she just loves that work and will probably go into that work if she can. Great. So I think the the nonprofits and the organizations that host the VISTA, they get a benefit, they get extra human resources, but oftentimes they'll also hire the person if it's you know a good fit, you know, they'll yeah. hire them after their term. Oh, that's over. great, that's great. And um, I, I, I think I was on a call with you when you shared that that fee can, uh, can be uh, on some terms, you can spread that out and work with the with the host sites? Absolutely. So we can do quarterly payments or, you know, we can work it out so that um, the nonprofit or the school can participate. We really don't want to turn anybody away right. because of finances. And so we are open to being creative and to see how we can help people participate. Oh, great, great. So uh, in the state of Kentucky, you're getting students from everywhere, right? Not just the state. They can come from anywhere, right? But 
What are some of the universities that you're working with in the state of Kentucky? Absolutely. Anybody that's serving as an American Corps member can serve, uh, be from anywhere. And we do get some that apply from out of state. Um, and in the VISTA program, they get relocation allowance. So they actually get oh, cool. um, their moving expenses covered. But um, some of the colleges and universities we're working with, Northern Kentucky University, we're working with them, Spalding um, and Bellarmine in Louisville, we're working with them, Lindsay Wilson College, which is in Columbia, that's a smaller school, um, Kentucky State and, and uh, Frankfurt University of Kentucky. Yeah, wow, <laughs> no Wildcats. That's right. So a lot of, um, a lot of universities and, um, you know, some of the people who serve as AmeriCorps members are recent college graduates. Um, and that's really good for our uh, college coaches program because we like people who remember the college experience yeah. and can help students. But especially with VISTA, it can be somebody of any age. So it could be somebody who's retired. And so even someone back. like me? Somebody as old as you, I yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> sir. <laughs> we take you too. Yeah, great. <laughs> We, um, we love to, uh, and often we get people who serve in their own community. So um, if they have an opportunity to serve in the school or in one, a nonprofit in their own community, they like that. But we also like to um, focus on diversity and yeah. have people um, maybe uh, be in an area different from where they grew up and um, oh, that's cool. get, a, get a different experience. You were being truthful when you said someone as old as, as myself can be. So age diversity, cultural diversity, everything? That's correct, yes. Awesome. For the college coach program, you have to have a college degree to serve, but for VISTA, you don't. You just have to have the skills. So it could be someone who maybe started college but didn't finish, but has some experience, real life experience in an area that they could contribute. Um, but it, it can be somebody that is changing careers and needs a year off and wants to do something in the community or retired person. We have some people that um, couples uh, serve oh, cool. in AmeriCorps um, because they, you know, they're retired but they wanna do something for their community. So they like to give back together. Yeah, I since I've been working with Kentucky Campus Compact and AmeriCorps, uh, it's been such a pleasure to get to know and see and uh, meet your team and see how vested and how hard they work. Uh, it's, it's been awesome. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I recently uh, you guys started uh, sharing some information with me about how these how these AmeriCorps members are developed. I can't think of a better development program, mentor, mentorship program. Share a little bit about what what these people, what these young people and also um, diverse people can expect. Absolutely, thank you. We're so excited about this new professional development curriculum that we've created for our AmeriCorps members in both programs, in VISTA and in college coaches. So they're gonna have a year long um, curriculum and they're gonna meet twice a month so for one of their meetings, they're going to go into different facets of professional development. So emotional intelligence um, to uh -huh. how to create your resume and how to talk about your AmeriCorps experience in your resume, um, how to do business writing, memos, professional writing, those kind of things. So kind of a whole gamut right. of professional development. And then the second um, time during the month, they're going to um, be led by this organization, local organization called Youth at the Center, oh, and it's going to be a curriculum on power and privilege. We do recognize right now in our country that um, anti-racism is a big topic, and at the core of that is power and privilege. And so we feel like that would be a great place to start with our members. Um, the uh, leaders of that organization actually came out of the AmeriCorps program. They ran the... Um, wow. Public Allies program. Full circle, right? That's right. <laughs> so we're really excited about those two, but we feel that at the end of the year, the AmeriCorps members are going to have um, so much that they can A, put on their resume, and B, knowledge and skills that they can take to their next job or to a career, or even just to their community if they're already finished with their college career. Yeah, that's, that's so great. That's so great. So 
Tell, tell us if someone was interested in learning more, wanted to talk more to you, uh, if someone nonprofit or for-profit community center, et cetera, wanted to be a host, how do people get a hold of you? Absolutely, so there's a couple ways. We have a website, kycompact.org. And so we're really happy for people to visit our website and it does have all of our um, contact information on it. But you're also, people are also welcome to contact me and my name is Gail Pillicky, and my email address is exec, E-X-E-C, director, at kycompact.org, and the phone number is 859-572-7634. And that would be for either members or for people who might want to host an AmeriCorps member, and then I can just direct them to the right staff person. We have different staff people. As you said, we have a terrific team. Yes. And so we, I would just direct them to whoever uh, the right the right niche was. Great. And uh, share a little bit on what to expect. Once they reach out to you, they connect, you connect them with the right staff member. What do the, those next steps look like? Absolutely. To be a host agency, which we are looking for them all the time, so we would love to talk with folks. There's an application process, but it's not a competitive application process. So. Um, the, the it's more like an expression of interest. It is, and, and an expression of what they would want the AmeriCorps person to do. And so then we would work together with them to put in all the right language and um, get all the details in there. Um, and then after that was all in an acceptable place, then we would start recruiting for somebody to serve at their, at their site. Yeah, which I'd love to help you with. That would be awesome. Yes. And so how long does that usually take? <laughs> so the application process um, can take as short a time as, you know, as the organization is motivated to do. Um, so once they get an application to us, we can turn that around in a couple weeks. Okay. And then the, app the recruitment process is varied because it depends on how quickly you can find somebody in that's role. interested yeah. in that specific spot. But um, I would say that could take... Um, Probably an average about a month. Okay. Yeah. So as soon as a host site or, or an organization um, decides that there's interest and that there's there, there's a possible fit here, they should reach out to you right away. Absolutely. And especially for VISTA, we can bring VISTA members on all throughout the year. And uh, the College Coaches Program, we do that a little bit too, but we try to start everybody when school starts in August so that they can be on the same schedule. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. So, well, thank you so much. That was wonderful. Any last words you'd like to, to leave us in the audience with? I, I would just like to say that um, I'd love to challenge people to think about being an AmeriCorps member, even if you've never heard of it before or it's not something that you thought you might want to do. It's such a great experience. You get opportunities to meet lots of people in the community and you get to a lot of responsibility that you might not in other jobs. And so I think it would just be a great opportunity for um, a lot of people to yeah, give it a try. That, that's wonderful. And uh, it's obvious, I think, to everybody that this is a great launch to someone's career. Uh, so, yeah, I hope they take you up on that. Great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.